Okay, I am going to attempt to repair this GL Audio F112 Fathom. I've repaired a lot of subwoofers and this one's a little bit unique. So I'm gonna just do a little demo on what I'm gonna do to repair this thing. So the woofer works, everything is fine. There's a popping noise at higher volume. What it is, is this whole front cover this is a dust cap, basically. The woofer is behind that. And so what's happened is this is separated over time. So you see that? I need to run a bead of glue all the way around this sucker to make sure that's adhered back to the woofer. Because what happens is it's, it's popping and it's flapping. So it sounds like the woofer's blown, but it's not. It's a great woofer, it's still fine. So. What I usually use is this. I'm turn it that way. This is what I fix a lot of woofers with for surround. Um, a lot of times on this part of the surround as well, the inside and outside. Um, this is great. This is kind of dried out on me. It's a little bit um, thick. I've had it for a couple years. And so I was like, well, this isn't gonna work. So I went to Walmart and I was like, let me get some new stuff. But I saw this one that has little precision tips that is going to be amazing for this because what i typically use is something like toothpicks or a flathead screwdriver to typically put some glue on there and then apply it you know around the the foam which is what i would do in our, a typical situation but for this uh i don't have much room so i'm going to use this little pry bar for automobile use um, or you can use a flathead screwdriver, but this is much safer. I'm gonna have to be careful because I don't wanna bend the plastic back and, and warp it or kind of crease it or anything. So I'm not gonna be able to film the process, but I'm gonna hopefully get done with it and maybe have the final results to be working. This one's a little bit rough. It's got a few dings on it. The previous owner, uh, these things are about 130 pounds or so. So they obviously just banged it up. I'm gonna to touch that up. I'll probably use some automotive paint or even a Sharpie. <laughs> You'd be surprised and shove this sucker in the corner and you'll never see the difference of it. You'll just see a black, beautiful subwoofer. And there we go. So I hope this helps some of you if you have JL Audio woofer repair needs, especially the Fathom. Um, this is probably common because the foam, this foam wraps under here and like anything with foam, it deteriorates and, and just kind of separates. So I'm gonna put a bead around there and repair it and hopefully it'll be pretty. So hopefully this uh, is a tip for some of you and best of luck to you guys, bye.